Just when I thought my day was over, Microsoft just released GPT-5 to Microsoft Copilot, a brand new large language model that's supposed to be the smartest and fastest model so far. In a nutshell, Copilot might have just gotten some steroids. <laughs> In this video, I'll be comparing previous Copilot with Copilot GPT-5 model using three use cases. First, I'll get Copilot to dress a portrait of me and maybe even roast me just a little. Second, I'll get Copilot to help me with data analysis for an upcoming budget presentation. Third, I'll get Copilot to read and summarize a very thorough set of financial statements. All right, let's get going. So right here, I have the old version of Copilot to the left using the model GPT-4.0. And to the right, you can see that GPT-5 is on, right? I just clicked on this button at the top right and it says you are using Copilot with GPT-5. So I'm putting the exact same prompt in those two tools. And let me read the prompt for you here. I said, read through my recent emails and chats and provide a comprehensive analysis of my communication style by identifying my core values, strengths, weaknesses, skills, and areas where I can improve professionally, make it a real rose. <laughs> All right, so we can quickly see the strength of Copilot GPT-5 to the right, it, that it mixes the model, right? The GPT-4.0 model didn't have the reasoning capabilities, while the GPT-5, it just identifies the best model to perform these tasks. In this case, it said, okay, Dave, we need to get to the deep reasoning model. So what it did, it actually analyzed everything, right? The first thing I realized is the answer on the right, GPT-5, is way more thorough, right? And actually, Copilot is giving me some template to answer back. This is so cool, right? As you can see here to the right, I see that I have a potential client in the UK. Copilot actually drafted me an answer. So a Copilot actually gave me a solution here. Say this instead, right? So in this case, to the left, Copilot with GPT-4.0 just gave me my strength, my weaknesses, my skills, my areas for improvement, right? Uh, but it didn't give me actual, the, actually the next step, right? So super interesting. The response is quite long. I went through most of it, but it's actually great how it roasted me really, really well here. You see here, it told me the typo roulette plus random capitalization, which didn't do in the left here on the old Copilot. If you're just starting with Microsoft Copilot, you can download my Copilot John Start Toolkit right here, free in the description below. Back to the video. With my second use case here, I asked Copilot that I am an accountant and need to prepare for an upcoming meeting with the executives, help me prepare for the Piggy Beans Cafe presentation. I attach the sales of the past two years, right? And if you're familiar with my channel, this data set is a basically just an Excel with 2000 lines of sales data. Again, to the right, I have my GPT-5 and to the left, I have the brand old <laughs> lol uh, GPT-4. Oh, I don't know why I just said lol out loud. I'm, I'm awkward, I think. I just thought my day was over, guys, because I'm recording the Copilot Essentials course and, you know, I'm I'm doing this brand new model on agents and now this just released, so I made a video about it, right? So again, to the right, my GPT-5 is analyzing my data set. To the left, GPT-4.0 already answered with a very basic answer, actually, right? We can see some charts uh, that we'll be able to compare with GPT-5 in just a second. But, you know, nothing too thorough here. Top product by sales, sales by region, sales by salesperson, monthly sales trend. And it made me a visual summary, a dashboard, right? Which seems accurate, by the way. Uh, I know my numbers by heart because the Piggy Beans Cafe, it's very important for me. And uh, we'll see what GPT-5 will come up in just a few seconds. Okay, I'm very excited for this. I don't have the results yet, but see, it says constructing an executive summary with KPIs, visuals, talking points, Q&A prep, and a five slide outline. This seems amazing, right? We will see what's going on. Ooh, okay, so this is really, really thorough here. Uh, we have the executive snapshot that we didn't have at all in the GPT-4.0 with, you know, the revenues by year, 
uh, with the growth, yearly growth, we got the transaction volumes, we got really detailed here. And again, guys, I'm just trying this for the first time with you guys. It is so interesting to see how deep this is going, right? We got a seasonality signal, which, you know, was a little bit signal here with uh, my monthly sales trend, right? Uh, again, not you know, it's it's pretty interesting. Then we have these uh, visuals that we have here that are pretty similar. Let me agree here that they are pretty similar to the left, this one, and then to the right, this one. Very similar, except that it switched the, the years with the colors. I like this change right here, more Toro in my mind. Uh, we can see here the mix of revenues by product, by year, which we don't have on the left at all. Just Copilot with the 4.0 model mixed these two years together, which I think is interesting. We got the revenue by region and year, which we don't have on the left as well. We got the sales people in 2024. Again, to the left, Copilot didn't do the distinction between the two years. One thing that I like is that Copilot was supposed to prepare some data and deck to export, but mm, as you can see, this is quite not hitting the mark right now. I don't know if it's because the model just released, but I like what I see, right? We have an executive review that should be a PowerPoint. Uh, I have a product by year. I have all of that, you know, above that is supposed to generate a document. So in my mind, if this will have worked, I would 100% give a big, big win to GPT-5. In this case, I think the graphs are just much, much better. And look at all these steps that it did. I think for me, GPT-5 is much better. So no hype for this one. I really think it is amazing. Copilot evolves so fast and it's very, very hard to keep up. I got you covered with my Microsoft Copilot Essentials from AI beginner to proficient course. I just released a brand new module on Copilot agents that I will probably need to fine tune with this brand new GPT-5. I'll put the link down in the comments and in the description, or you can go to learncopilot.ai slash masterclass. Now let's get to the third use case. All right, so we're back here. I have to the left GPT-40, so the old Copilot, let's say it like that, and GPT-5 to the right. And I will ask, summarize these financial statements as a one pager and make it look very great, right? So uh, let's hit send. Again, uh, Copilot has some issues at generating files. I'm hoping they fix that. I don't know if it's a bug because it's the first day at work for GPT-5, but this is the kind of thing that it should be able to do. Again, GPT-5, what it does, it takes the best model to perform the task that you're asking, right? So uh, pretty cool, see to the right, it did a pro version, right? With a pretty similar key financial highlights on both sides. And then if I keep scrolling, we have the operational performance here to the right. We have the segment performance to the left. Very similar, but see to the right how much more details I have. It is more thorough. Of course, we have the deep reasoning capabilities with this brand new model, which is not the case with the GPT-40 to the left. And uh, if we keep going, we have a strategic and ESG highlights. Copilot probably analyzed this very long PDF. It's a PDF that has 109 pages, by the way, from Starbucks, a very little known company. And it flagged me my risk here as well to the left and to the right. Super interesting. Uh, what I like from uh, the version to the right is that Microsoft Copilot gave me a summary table, which it didn't do on the left, right? So very hard for me to pick a winner here. I think I will give it to GPT-5. Of course, it is more intelligent. It picks the right model when it needs to. In the time being, before it GPT-5 gets to your machine, to your co-pilot, I highly suggest that you watch my video on the co-pilot agents. You will learn everything from A to Z about agents, and I will catch you in the next video.